Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our first example of how to find the maximum or minimum of something. In this case, we're going to find the minimum cost. Now, we have techniques in calculus that really work well in these kind of things, but when it's a quadratic equation, we can actually use the techniques we've learned how to graph quadratic functions, and they work just as well. So, how do we find the minimum cost? Well, we have a quadratic equation that represents the cost. Remember that x is in terms of dozens and c is the cost in dollars. The daily cost of producing a dozen leather shoes is presented by this equation right there. And x represents a dozen shoes. How many shoes should be produced to minimize the cost? We want to find the minimum cost on the daily basis. So how many dozens of shoes should we produce? What we're going to do is we're going to graph this function and we're going to first find the vertex. To do that, we need to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is equal to minus b over 2a. In this case, b is equal to 180, so it would be minus, minus 180, divided by 2 times a, and a, that's equal to 10. So this is equal to 180 divided by 20, which is equal to 9. So now we also want to find the y corner of the vertex, so y sub v. That means we're going to plug that number back in the original equation. So y, in this case, of course, instead of y, we'll probably go ahead and put in c. That would be 10 times 9 squared minus 180 times 9 plus 1,200. Okay, I think at this point, I will grab a calculator. So 9 squared, that would be 81, times 10, minus 180 times 9, and then plus 1,200, and that gives us $390. So 390 is the C, the, not the Y coordinate, but the C coordinate of the vertex. Let's go ahead and find that. So when X equals 9, so that we'll put that right over here. 9 and when c sub v equals 390 let's plug it over here that would be 390 and there we go that's where the vertex would be now what does this graph look like well it turns out since a is a positive number it opens upward that means that the vertex will look like this i mean the graph will look like this starting from the vertex and notice that this is the lowest cost on the function when x equals 9. When x becomes bigger, the cost goes up. When x is smaller, the cost goes up as well. So the least amount of cost is, is uh, encountered when we produce 9 dozen of shoes a day. So if you want to minimize cost, you only produce 9 dozen shoes. If you want to produce more shoes, it will cost you more. The cost will go up. That may be an advantage in other ways. But if it's strictly an issue of cost, 9 dozen is the cheapest cost associated with the, the associated cost with producing shoes, nine dozen shoes will give you the cheapest or the least amount of cost. And that is how it's done using the techniques we already know. Okay. Mm.